Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is January. Hello, everybody. This is Nora. 欢迎大家收听早安英文。Nora， 我前两天听了你的课，讲的真的是太棒了。哎，你可不是要给我放什么彩虹屁了吧 ？The truth is, I don't really feel comfortable when someone compliments me. 就有的时候别人夸我的时候，我觉得会非常的尴尬，难为情是吧？对。Yeah, I guess many people feel the same way too. In fact, accepting a compliment is often much more harder than giving one. Exactly. 一般别人夸我的时候，我都会说没有没有 ，no no no. <laughs> so, what are the other ways we can respond to compliments? 那今天我们就一起来看一看如何用英文来回应赞美呢？今天呢，给大家送个超棒的福利：早安英文会员课程的七天免费体验权限，只有十个名额哦。同时呢，大家也可以加入早安英文的 Telegram 社群，来群里和我们一起交流。社群地址和七天会员的免费领取链接都放在评论区了，欢迎你来。哎 ，Nora， 你有没有感觉我们中文当中一般回应赞美都会说哪里哪里，或者说没有没有？对，就是别人一夸你，你通常就会习惯性的否定一下。对，那其实呢，很多外国人也都是这样子的。In fact, many native English speakers have a really difficult time accepting a compliment. Really? Yeah, they often act really embarrassed. They don't know what to do, and they say something that might disagree with your compliment. So, can you elaborate more on that? Sure. 比如说，在日常生活当中，你夸一个人衣服好看 ，you say something like "I love your dress. It looks wonderful on you," or "That's a really nice shirt." Hmm. So, how would they like to respond to that? Well, what you'll probably hear is someone say something like, "Oh, I just threw this on this morning. I didn't even think about it." 嗯、uh, ，就是说今天早上随便穿的一件。Mm -hmm. 那 throw 意思就是扔 ，throw something on， 并不是说把这个东西直接就扔过去了。Mm -hmm. It means to quickly put clothes on， 就是随便穿了一件。对 ，right. You might also hear something like, "Thanks. It's no big deal. I got it on sale." 意思就是说，这没什么，就打折的时候买的。On sale 就是打折 ，deal 表示事情 ，so it's no big deal 就是说这没什么的。那除了说 it's no big deal， 我们还可以换一种说法说，啊、uh, ，it's nothing， 也是一种在别人夸奖你的时候可以用到的表达。Right. In this way, you kind of push the compliments away and even turning it into something negative. Right, you might hear this kind of response when you compliment a native speaker. 如果你听到别人对你的夸奖感觉到有些不好意思的话呢 ，you can also respond this way. Right. 不过我个人觉得啊，对一个夸奖最好的回应就是大大方方的去接受对方的赞美就好了。I think the most beautiful thing that can happen when we compliment somebody is they accept it. 而且是要全心全意的接受 ，wholeheartedly. 所以最简单的回应方式呢，就直接说 thank you 就好了。Right, when someone compliments you and you say thank you, it's so nice when people do that. So just honor those people who give them to you by saying thank you. 嗯，那就把对方的赞美当做礼物就好了。Just relate to it as a gift and accept it. Don't push it away. Exactly. And if the compliment made a difference, that the people let the person know. And here are a few ways we can do that. For example, you can say "thank you." It makes my day to hear that. 意思就是说，听到你的赞美让我很开心。那在这里呢，我们就学到一个表达，就是 make someone's day. It means to make someone feel very happy. 所以以后我们想说对方让自己很开心，我们就可以说 "You made my day." Right, and that's a great way to give compliment as well. 嗯，那比如说在工作当中，有人夸奖你的工作做得好。Say, I'm blown away by the event you put together for the client, or you did an awesome job in that presentation, or the way you complimented my class in the beginning. 所以在这种时候的话，那我们应该要怎么去回应比较好呢 ？Well, you can say, I really put a lot of thought into this. Thank you for noticing. Put a lot of thought into something means to think carefully about something. 就是说花了很多心思。那刚刚这句话呢，就是说我的确花了很多心思。谢谢你注意到了。对。那如果对方的赞美让你感觉到嗯比较感动或者是很感激，你也可以直接表达出来。Actually, it's a great way to respond to compliments. 
You can say something like, "It means a lot to me to hear that from you." It means a lot to me. 意思就是说，对我来说意义重大。It's important to me. 或者也可以说 ，It's important to me. It's a great deal to me. Right. It is an expression used when something or someone is very important, and it's something you appreciate. And we can also simply say, "Thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time to express that." 谢谢你花时间告诉我。对，那刚刚几种方式呢，就是表达的对个人的赞美。So Jane, what if someone compliments you for something that was a team effort? 就如果有人赞美你，但其实是团队努力的一种成果的话。那这种情况下，我们应该要怎么回应呢 ？Then just share the appreciation. Just be sure to first take the compliment and then acknowledge the efforts of your team. Right. So we can say something like, "Thank you for noticing. It is great to hear you feel that way." 这就是感谢对方的赞美了。对，然后接着就可以提到团队嘛。You can say something like, "Everyone on our team has been working really hard on this over the last few weeks." I will share your feedback in our next meeting. 那这句话刚刚的意思就是说，团队里面的每一个人都很努力。我会在下一次的会议中转达你的反馈。Feedback 就是反馈的意思。那我们今天聊到的呢，就是如何回复别人的赞美。以后在被别人夸奖的时候，大大方方的接受就好啦。That's all for today's podcast. This is Nora. Thanks for listening. This is January. See you next time. Bye. 今天的节目就到这里了，大家别忘了去评论区领取我们的福利——早安英文会员课程的七天免费试听名额，只有十个，先到先得。最后，大家如果想加入我们的听众群，也可以在评论区置顶找到我们的 Telegram 社群地址，欢迎你来玩。This podcast is from Morning English， 学口语就来早安英文。